Hi, welcome to my channel, Make It With Miranda, where I make over furniture and do a variety of DIYs. So join me while we get creative and make something beautiful. This bookshelf I purchased at the Habitat for Humanity for only $25. It was in pretty good condition, except for a few watermarks on the shelf. The backing was also starting to come off, but I knew that was an easy fix. To prep this piece, I used a method of greaser and cleaned the bookshelf thoroughly. Afterwards, I also took a wet rag and wiped away any more residue. Be sure to clean every part of your piece you'll be working on. I then went to removing the hardware. I knew I wanted to keep these and go for a modern yet traditional feel. Uh, they are kind of large, but I really liked the detail on them. After I took all my hardware off, I put them in a Ziploc baggie until I was ready to work on them. To prep your piece for painting, you want to give it a good scuff sand for a nice surface for your paint to adhere to. Here I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper and after sanding I gave my bookshelf a really good wipe down to remove all the dust. You don't want to be painting with any dust residue left behind. So make sure you get it all wiped out. Here I'm removing the staples from the bottom part of the backing that are loose so that I can re-staple that part back down. Next I knew I wanted to do something to the back part of the shelf so I carefully removed the backing with a flathead screwdriver. Now it's time to paint. Here I'm using Kills Primer and a paintbrush. You could totally use a roller for this but I decided to use two different paintbrushes a wider one and a smaller one to get into all the details. After the paint was completely dry, I went back with a 240 grit sandpaper to smooth out the surface, and then I wiped it clean.
I chose a Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Coastal Blue. I really love this color. And for the first layer, you don't want a ton of paint. It should be a light coverage. With this bookshelf, I knew I wanted this beautiful texture, so I didn't sand in between my coats. And I absolutely love the way this paint dries. While it's wet, it does look like a deep royal blue, but then it finishes, it's a lot softer. I did decide to move to a roller just because it was a little quicker um, I did end up doing a total of three thin coats of this paint it was great coverage I'm definitely gonna use the Rust-Oleum chalk paint again and this color is really really beautiful when it dries then moved on to the doors. I originally just wanted to put blue in the deepest part of the door and leave the wood, but once I saw it all together, I knew that I should do white and blue. Here I'm putting the primer on the door for where I'm going to put the blue. And after this is when I realized I just didn't think the blue and the wood looked as good as I thought it would. And it would have been much easier to paint the entire door white, then go in with the blue, but sometimes your vision changes while you're in the middle of working on a piece.
so happy I decided to go with the white. The blue pops so much more against the white and I really, really, really love it. hardware before looked so dated, but I really liked the shape. I cleaned them up and used a Rust-Oleum hammered silver spray paint, then three coats of clear finishing spray, and I love it so much more. Now for the backing. Since I painted the doors white, I knew I wanted to do white for the back to pull it all together. Originally I wanted to do wallpaper, but the kind I bought didn't go well with the traditional look I was going for. I chose to wax this bookshelf, which I'll probably never wax a piece this large again. That was a lot of work. I ended up doing two coats of wax, but as much work as it was, I really did like the finish after it was done. almost finished and time to nail in the backing. I really, really like this gun. It makes my projects go so quickly and I will be listing the supplies I use in the description box below. So if you want to check those out, everything will be there. I screwed in the hardware and the doors and I am done. I'm absolutely in love with how this turned out. The blue and the white look so clean together. The contrast is beautiful. I staged it so people could get a feel for how they would like to decorate in their own home. I kind of chose blues, yellows, and whites. Gives off a nautical vibe, but I was definitely going for the traditional feel. Just look how much better that silver hardware looks. It really pops now. The details on the door are my favorite. I love that I chose a two-tone rather than painting the whole thing white. But here's the before and here's the after. I really like how this furniture makeover turned out and if you did too, please give me a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you again soon.